By the end of this video, you'll be able to generate behavior reports to facilitate the identification of trends and patterns associated with student conduct. Here's the situation. You're the principal of a large K-8 school. The month of September has wound down, and you're planning to meet with your leadership team to evaluate the initial effectiveness of the changes made to the school's positive learning environment plan. You're hoping that the changes are helping students to make better choices, resulting in a more positive learning and working environment. For your meeting, you'd like to generate some reports that will provide up-to-the-minute data on student behaviors. You need to begin at the PowerSchool Start page. Click on the PowerSchool logo to refresh the page and you're ready to go. To help you prepare for your meeting, start by generating a summary behavior report. This report will help you get an overall feel of the types of student behaviors that are occurring in the school and the actions taken by your administrative team in response to those behaviors. Looking at the left side of the page, you'll see Reports. Select System Reports. Now click on New Brunswick Reports. This will provide you with a list of various reports to choose from. Under Discipline, choose Summary Behavior. The only thing you need to do to generate this report is to set the incident date range. The default date range is set for the entire school year. In this case, a report for the month of September will suffice. So we'll select September. Second was the first day of school, and we'll go to the end of the month. Click Submit. As you can see, the report provides a summary of the various recorded student behaviors that have occurred during the month, as well as the number of specific actions taken. The snapshot provides timely feedback on any trends that may be present. As always, you have the option to print this report by clicking on the print icon located here and verifying the printing parameters. This report is great to start with, but a more detailed behavior report may help identify some trends that may not be immediately apparent. To get started, click on the PowerSchool logo to refresh the page. Before we begin, an important point needs to be made. The detailed behavior report relies on accurate data being inputted properly in all necessary fields in incident management. Anyone who will be responsible for inputting this data must view the incident management module to learn the steps to do this properly. To view this very important learning module, go to the Data Connects website, hover over Let Me Try in the navigation bar, Select your administrative role from the drop-down menu and select Incident Management. Now, let's generate a detailed behavior report. Click on System Reports. Select New Brunswick Reports once again. Under Disciplines, select Detailed Behavior. Before we create a report, let's take a few moments to take a look at the report preferences more closely. You see various options and boxes to help fine-tune the report to include everything you may want in it. For students, you have the option to create a report for selected students or all students. The date range is defaulted for the entire school year, August 1st to June 30th, but you have the option to narrow your report to a specific date range. For the rest of the preferences, they're defaulted to include all those listed in the boxes shown. For most behavior reports you're looking for, this is exactly what you want. You'll want the report to include all incident types, all roles, all behaviors, all actions, regardless of who created them. Please note that you can choose various selections to narrow down your report as well. For example, say you wanted to generate a report listing all offenders and victims of various bullying incidents that may have occurred at your school this year. For that report, you'd select all students. You'd select the date range for the full year. You would include all incident types, no matter who initiated. But you wanted to write a report for bullying for offenders and victims. So you'd select offender or victim 
Or if you hit the control key, you can hit offender and victim, and they both be selected. Select the Boolean codes. Slide down. Cyberbullying. Once again, we'd hold the control key. Scroll down to other forms of bullying. Control key. And so on. All action codes would stay the same, and you'd include all reports regardless of who they were created by. Clicking Submit would generate this bullying report. I hope this helped you better understand the report preferences that are available. Now, let's generate the behavior report for September you need for your meeting. The easiest way to clear the preferences and to make changes is to click New Brunswick Reports in the navigation bar. This will backtrack to this page and reselecting the detailed behavior report will reset the preferences. For the behavior report you want, the preferences should be set as follows. We'll select all students. We want a date range for September. September 2nd. And we'll go to the end of September. 2014. 30th. We keep all the remaining default settings to include everything and click Submit. And now your report is generated. The report is quite detailed and outlines all the pertinent information associated with each incident. Note that the report can be sorted by category. You can sort by name, In ascending or descending order. You can sort by date, once again in ascending or descending order, or location where these incidents may have occurred. It is noteworthy to see that five of the seven behavior incidents have occurred on the bus. This may be a point of focus for you and your leadership team. Lastly, while you certainly can view this report on the screen, this report will become more readable if you export it into an Excel file and work with it accordingly. Clicking the Excel icon will allow you to export and save the report to your desktop for your convenience. Congratulations! You've successfully generated behavior reports to help identify trends and patterns with student conduct and you can print and export these reports as needed. You are now ready for your meeting with your leadership team to discuss the effectiveness of the changes made to your positive learning environment plan.